there's a la that lady right there. Yeah. And there's a microphone right there. Hi. Hi. Um, okay. So we are in a particular uh, cultural moment uh, that, aside not talking about politics, but talking about the way that comedians are having to deal with audiences maybe not appreciating uh, the older jokes that they're telling or like kind of old modes of thinking about things. Uh, and you hear a lot of comedians saying, well, that's First Amendment, right? I, I have the right to be offensive. I have the right to not say something that you're going to enjoy. Um, or like, I will use these derogatory terms in my stand-up act uh, because that's how I think and that's what I feel and it's just a joke. Um, do you guys have any personal experience with that happening with you or do you have any thoughts of how the comedy scene, as it were, is dealing with that? Are colleges too PC, John? <laughs> yeah. I just, I think that's... I only go to the Ivy League. <laughs> and yes, they're very PC. No. I think that's laziness yeah. on the part of the comic, to be honest. Yeah. I think if you have to be getting better all the time, I mean, this is not, you can clap for that or, or whatever, it's just the truth. It's like, even I, I mean, everybody has been patrolled for something that they've said, and you can choose to, like, uh, take that in and write a better joke or, or clarify what you meant um, or not. And it, like, I mean, I've certainly have had it happen to me. Um, and I think that the whining about it is the problem. Like, yes. this is your job. Your job is to get better. So right. if you... And you work the crowd in front of you. Yeah. And if the crowd in front of you... Uh, I mean, you don't want to be... I mean, I, I don't want to watch a jackass. Right, I, yeah. It's not an abridgment of your freedom of speech if people don't like what you're saying and are willing to say so. Back to you. And, you know, like, that, that's... If you're, if you're in the mix and you're trying to... You know, you're expressing opinions... You have to accept that people won't like them. And when they don't like them, it isn't... I, I don't think it behooves you as a comedian or as a human to say, well, you're all too PC. It's like, think about why they don't like them. I mean, that's, it's not just a matter of becoming a better comedian. It's also about becoming a better human. And, you know, in, in all walks of life... All right, there, I'll, I'll take the applause. Applause, applause, applause. I also don't think this is automatically easy. One thing that I'm current, that I'm being told, that I was told like not too long ago is that I should try to stop using guys because it's not a gender neutral term. Uh, I will say that it is a part of my speech pattern. I use guys constantly and I have like my entire life. So for somebody to say that to me, that's like a huge like fundamental change in the way that I deliver stand up because I use guys all the time as like a pl placeholder. Um, just because that's true, I mean, it doesn't mean I'm like slamming the door in that person's face. I'm trying to figure out if there's a different word to use. Uh, folks makes me sound like an idiot, I think, on stage. Well, yeah. I like to type folks. I don't, I don't yet like to say it. So this is fine. We're always expanding and getting better. We're always changing and figuring out what's the next thing we're going to do. Guys, I take a slightly different approach to this. Uh, I really do take a, a slightly different approach to it. And my approach is... Part of what I feel like is my, in my interest as a comedian and as a human is to be at least a little bit uh, provocative in, and part of... Just the way you said that word was provocative. <laughs> Do you mean that in a sexual way? Yes. Ow, ow. Thank you. Affirmative consent. <laughs> part, of, part of what I feel like I do as a comedian, it, 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 what I'm interested in, is using sort of loaded words or loaded ideas and... Um, sometimes uh, trying to make people think or at least become aware of why they're having a certain reaction to certain things. So a tiny example of that tonight is when I said, that's why last year I stopped performing in blackface. And I could feel people, and I knew, I, I knew you would, I could feel at least a certain t t small segment of the, uh, of, the, of, the, of the audience clench up a little bit. But there was nothing inherently racist in what I said, it was the idea of blackface that correctly made people go, oh shit. And then but, Cameron Esposito saved your ass with your last name. Yes, yeah, she did. That's it, it was great. But I'm interested in stuff like that. I'm right. interested in, in pushing buttons to at least make people think about why they're having the reaction that and, they do. But that doesn't, that doesn't not work with what I'm saying, because I agree with you. Let I me think... shut you down right now. 
<laughs> I think that, uh, of course, no topics are off limits. Like, no, no, nothing is off limits. It just has to be better if it's a loaded topic or a loaded word. You have to be telling a better joke. So what I have an issue with is what you're saying is interesting, and interesting comedy can come from that. And then there's the other thing, which is just like a person standing on stage being like, you, the audience, I am going to rape you. Like, and both of those things being, are, are like, they're being, lumped they're together. being lumped they're together, lumped as together as if they're, together they're the same so thing. nuanced. Yeah. And they, there's no similarity between those two things. Right, it's, it's, like, it's, it's that such a changing thing. the conversation so that you don't have to have the real conversation. It's using, it's, it's, it's that argument of, let's talk about something else instead of the thing that we're really talking about. Because to really be provocative, to really be interesting, is enormously valid. And to be mean or stupid and to encourage mean and stupid just because you can't write a fucking joke makes me want to push you into a pile of carts. <laughs> I don't know that it's going to get better than a pile of carts. Uh, we just totally got the red light, though, you guys. I know, we got the second red light. I mean, why are we getting a red light? We're all in the same boat together, right? Well, they all want to go to their lives. They Is there something else going on tonight? Sleeping, well, probably, the people yeah. who work the it's stage. Bad time. What's that? Hang on. Well, we got to pack up to get to the show tomorrow. Oh, okay. oh they got to go. All right. Excuse me. Oh, other people have work to do. I, I apologize. <laughs> Others. They are comics. Uh, so this performance is dedicated to the amazing people backstage. I use the term performance loosely. Uh, thank you very much, Sarah Spinshaw and everyone else backstage. So sorry, Sarah. Michael Ian Black, Cameron at Fugito. Jack I pronounced your name uh, Cation. Excuse me, I just want to get it right for once. Yeah. Jackie Cation, ladies and gentlemen. And Jack Osmond. And Amy Mann. Yeah. And all of you. And Tim. Yeah. Yeah. Let's keep the conversation going when I have my voice back outside. All right, good night. Yeah. 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 Yeah.